How are you? I'm fine. Do you want to tell me why you're happy or... Ta-da! A bed sheet? A curtain. <laughs> this is a curtain? Oh. We learned how to sew on a straight line in sewing school, so I made it for you to put it in your office. In my office? Yes. You don't like it. Oh, why? I love it. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's put it there. Just hang it there, that way. Every time I come by and I see it, I get reminded that I have a designer at home. Thank you. Thank you, you Auntie. Oh, of course. This morning. Oh, welcome. All right. Dorothy, can we keep it down, please? Oh, did I wake you up? Yeah. Sorry, ma. Please keep oh. it down. Uh uh, Chichi. Hey. Good morning, now. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, darling. Why are you up? Dorothy was sick. Ugh, like clockwork. She's always singing. <laughs> well, you were the one that chose to return like a thief in the night now. If she knew you were around, I'm sure she would have kept it down. Dorothy. Ma? She's gonna have a cup of coffee. Okay, ma. Oh, no, I'll just sleep when you go to work or something. How was your flight now? You know, I thought you were not coming anymore. You <laughs> flew from Madrid and then straight. Fiam, meeting. My sister, I was tired. You know how these rich clients can be. She wanted to steal the deal over over drinks and loud music. I was tired. I was just pretending to be happy. Honestly. Sorry, dear. I mean, I have a presentation this morning and it's morning already, safe. Let me just go and start getting ready. Okay, I'll, sleep. I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Nah, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Keep it down, please. Okay. Thanks. I need to start getting ready. Okay. Okay. Ah. How are you, I'm Dorothy? Ah, is Chica home? She went out in the afternoon. She said she had a meeting. Hmm. She can't work out Now, wow. Please just help me drop these things inside the room, eh? My legs are hurting. Be cool. Come and help me rub them. Okay. I wanted to take them off. The fashion will not let me see rude. <laughs> Please. Lord. Did you go to the market today? Yes, ma. Mm. Auntie Fe, mm? everything is not expensive in the market though. Uh -uh. So you didn't get everything on the list? Mm -mm. The price of everything has gone up and the money was not enough. Okay, that's fine then. You go weekend. Mm? Okay. Mm. Ah, yes, there. <laughs> See, the soul is hurting. <laughs> this girl, you're laughing at me. Abby. Your younger ones will laugh at you, don't worry. Like, your hands are so soothing. I'm so tired. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, it's my mommy. She has been wanting to talk to you since. Hello, ma. My daughter, Alakiai. Thank you very much. Oh, ma, please don't mention, eh? It's not a big deal, ma. As you have treated Dorothy like your sister.
sister. People will rise to favor you. God bless you, my dear. You Amen. will never lack. Amen. Amen. All right, ma. Thank you, ma. Chica, chica. The workaholic. Oh, I'll take that into the room. Tired. So she says, but well, you keep jetting in and out of countries, living like La Vida Luca. First, look, my job as an international recruitment manager is hard. Mm. I have to travel everywhere to find global talent for my client, and they're so picky. Mm. <laughs> I, I need someone with five years experience with their senior <laughs> certification. Where are they going to get the certification from when they are always working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shall live in the dream life. Well, I can't pretend to be humble. I mean, imagine going to a new city and you can't even explore because you are going to event, interviewing people, and you have to fly out the next day. Mm. Ah. Well, that's a good problem to have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear you. It's a very good problem. Should I get Dorothy to get you something to eat? Our oh, sweet babe, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're really lucky to have her. No. I just hope that she doesn't start to manifest. Mm -mm. Dorothy's not like that, okay? She's a very smart, very intelligent young girl. First of seven children, okay? And she's got good head and shoulders. That's exactly what my sister said about her housemate in Kaduna. Mm -hmm. She got impregnated by another compound's gate man. <laughs> housemate will disgrace you. You have come, Abby. I'm just saying, you know. You have come. Of course, there are two of Let me get that food for you. Good morning. Can you have a good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. No, we're not ready yet, but we will Sorry. be in a few. Yes, all right, thank you. Yeah, okay, uh, please, I need you to get me a few props for this table. I don't want it to look weird. I'm shooting from this angle, please. What kind of props? Um, you know what, get me two potter plants, my pen, my book, and my laptop, please hurry up. Okay. So like I sent you the... Please, can you just help me move that pot a little to the left? Yes, perfect. Alright, so just like the email that I sent you, I'll be asking you a few questions about the product, how it says the users, uh -huh. and um, it shouldn't take more than 15 to 20 minutes, Max. That's okay. You ready? Yeah, ready. Okay. Action, can we meet you please? My name is George Dalong. I am CEO and founder of Salt Technology. No, no. No, sorry to cut you short. I need you to um, put in a little more personality, you know, just add excitement, like a little hi, you know, tell them about the company and all of that, you know. Let them just feel your excitement, right? All right. Okay. So, <clears throat> okay. Uh, action. Can we meet you, please? Hi. My name is George Dalong. I am CEO and founder of Soul Technology. And I have something that I want to share to you today, and I am so excited about it. Perfect. Uh, as the CEO of Salt Technology, what does your company do? All right, so um, Salt Technology, we are really interested in making sure that... Oh. 
Chica. How are you? I'm fine. Come, 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 please. You're always singing. <laughs> Sorry, Ma. It's just that I like singing. I'm going in my church choir, Steph. So. Really? Yes. Sit. Okay. Actually, I'm I'm hungry. Did you make anything? Yes, Ma. Um, white rice and shredded beef sauce. Okay. Who taught you that? <laughs> and see if eh? Wow. You know you're actually very hardworking. Keep it up, okay? Thank you, Ma. And be careful with all these boys around, though. Eh? I'm just saying, be careful. If you continue like this, Ife will continue to take care of you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. One sec. I have to pick this. Hello, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Yes, I, I have some interviews um, lined up for today. I met with some of the candidates yesterday and they are not impressive, ma. <laughs> we'll continue to search. I, I won't let you down. Okay, ma, I, I have to rush now. <laughs> My boss is putting a lot of pressure on me. All right, okay. Oh, and you, hmm? No, no, just put it in the fridge, okay? Okay, ma. Grace. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for your help. But please try and be less timid in these rooms, okay? Okay, ma. That too. Please, can you stop adding ma every time you address me? Okay. okay. It's just that everybody here is so brilliant. And sometimes they make me feel like a fraud. A fraud? How? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, listen. None of us here know what we're doing, okay? We're just... Winging it and putting on our best game face is well worth it. It doesn't feel like it. Okay, so how old are you again? 21. 21? <laughs> Sweetheart, at 21, I had no job. I just left school and I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Two years after grad school, I picked up photography and it took me eight years to get here today. I still have much more to learn, but I don't let anything intimidate me. And I'm still steadily pushing the boundaries of knowledge, okay? So you still have room to grow. Don't let anybody intimidate you, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Man, it took the entire day to shoot this interview. I'm so tired. You know what? Let's go and grab drinks, okay? So you can ease up. All right. All right. I will edit the videos overnight and get them ready for the lunch. Okay. okay. Alright. Yes. Yeah. Auntie, do you want anything else? Uh -uh. <laughs> you just gave me cookies. I'm fine. Well, she is just rice he ate that time, and you have been working since. So I was just thinking that maybe. Uh, uh, wait, wait, uh, I'm okay. Do you want to be fun before I go back? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, okay? Uh, I have some chocolate. Do you want? Okay, I'll get it for you. <laughs> Dorothy. Dorothy. Ah, when these girls are sleeping like this. Dorothy. The 
number you dialed is six <sighs> find Dorothy. What do you mean you can't find Dorothy? Have you checked a room outside the balcony? No, 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 no. It's very unlike her. Like, if she was leaving the house, she would tell me first. And if she was scared of waking me up, she would send me a text message. Something is wrong, chica. Hey, maybe she went out to get something, okay? She'll be back soon. Her bed was unkept. It was unkept. If it ain't. The first thing she does when she gets out of bed in the morning is make her bed. And then she goes around the house singing. But I woke up and the house was quiet. Okay. Something is wrong. Okay. Okay. If you are, you're beginning to freak me out, okay? What could possibly have happened? I mean... See, I don't know. I don't know. Are you okay? I have a headache. I didn't sleep one time. I went to bed at 4 a.m. You know, we'll just go back to bed, okay? By the time you're awake, she'll be here. I'm sure of it. Chica, I can't go back to bed, bro. I can't go back to bed. It's 7 a.m. in the morning already. I have to be in the office in one hour. I have to finish that video and I have a couple of meetings. If I... How about you take a shower and go to work? I have an interview today, but I will res reschedule for tomorrow. Okay? I mean, she will turn up and I'll let you know. Just so Fine. worry. I don't know. Wait, where can she's she coming be? back. I'm sure she just went out to get something. Okay, go have a shower. Yes, you're freaking me out. Hi, Ife. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How's it going? Uh, do we have any of the videos ready? One, one is ready. I can send that one to you while you're taking a look. I'll be done with the other three, please. Ife, are you all right? Is everything okay? Not really. My house up disappeared this morning and she's nowhere to be found. How do you mean disappeared? Like, what happened? I don't know. We, we went to bed the night before and then I woke up this morning and I couldn't find her. With no word, nothing. Maybe she woke up early and went to go get something. But Dorothy would not leave the house without telling me, okay? Okay, is there something missing from the house? Something missing? Yeah. Something missing like, wait, what, what are you trying to imply? Like it? Like maybe she ran away, or maybe the house got robbed. You know, that is if you're valuable. Sometimes. There is nothing missing in my house. Everything is intact, thank you. And the door was locked when I went to it, okay? Okay. Listen, George, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I've just been stressed with all of this thing. Like, it's stressing me out. It's okay. I understand. So this is what I think. I think you should take some days off. Yeah, I mean, you have a lot of work on your table, but you're not in the right frame of mind to do any of it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. In fact, I have a friend waiting for me out home. She's waiting to give me a word once Dorothy returns. And I've been so anxious and I've, I've just, I've, I've not been able to concentrate with work. It's all right. I get it. So you go home. Hopefully she's going to return tonight with some explanation so that you can get back to getting us those videos. Is that okay? Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. And um, can you send me the videos that is ready though? Sure, I will. I will. All All right. Right. Thank you so much. Thank Great. you. No. I, I even went around. I asked neighbors. Nobody saw her. If I breathe, 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 please. Eh? Chica, what 
what do I do? What do I do? How does an entire human being just, 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 just disappear like that? I... Could she have left me? Why? I, I, I don't think so. I spoke to her yesterday and she seemed happy. I even wonder off boys. I know, I know. I just don't know what to think. Okay. Or should I go to the police and report her missing? You can do that, but they will tell you to wait 24 hours. And they won't do anything about it right now. My uncle is a police officer, I remember. Just relax. I don't know, I don't know. She'll come back, everything will be fine. You fair? What? Just, just, just relax. Good evening, ma. Well done, oh. Please, I've been calling Dorothy since morning, but her number is not going. Are you at home? Can I speak with her? Uh, Ma'am, I'm at the office right now, but um, and I'll be working very late today. But once I get home, I'll, I'll call you so you come to us. Thank you, my daughter. It's like it's network. Yeah, Ma, can I call you back? Thank you, Ma. What did, what, what did she say? Wait, just, just hold on. What did she say? She said she's been trying to reach her daughter and her daughter's number has not been reachable. <sighs> just, just, wait. Relax, okay? Relax. Relax now. Uh -uh. Relax. This, this girl is not a child. Please, go in eh? and have a shower. If by tomorrow we do not find her, we'll go to the police. Okay? I said you should calm down now. What is this now? Okay, okay, okay. What is she calling? I don't like this, oh. I don't like this. Eh? If I... If I... Hi, Uncle. I'm very well, sir. Yes, I'm in the country right now, but I'll be leaving another three days. I know. Actually, sir, I called to ask for a favor. Yes, my friend's um, housemate just literally just vanished. Yes, since yesterday. I, I figured that she might have run away, but I, I don't want to tell my friend that. Oh, at the station, right? Okay, I I'll do that. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All right. Bye. Babe, are you okay? So you think Dorothy ran away? And I asked you and you said you didn't think so? Can I sit down? No, don't tell me to sit down and answer the damn question. Why are you yelling at me? Am I the one that told her to run away? Babe, I, look, I, I, I just thought that it would be funny if I said that she ran away, because I actually just was talking about herself that, that misbehave, and, and now your babe just cut out. But that's what it looks like now. Is that not what it looks you like? You see what I'm saying? I'm sorry. It's just that. Look, I've not been this confused in my entire life. At all. I, I understand. My sister's housemate also vanished in, in Kaduna. I couldn't find her, like same thing, no prior notice, nothing. In fact, a day before, she had gone out to buy her beautiful clothes just so that she could thank her for her hard work. I can't believe Dorothy would do this to me, I can't believe it. And now mom is calling me, what do I tell the woman? You know, what do I you say? You know what we are going to do, we'll get to the station, you know, file a missing person's report. And, and just tell her mother that she ran away, but the police are looking for her. I can't see for this is a mess. It's a big mess and I have an event in two days in the office. How am I supposed to concentrate? How am I supposed to work or function? Let's just go to the police station. Eh? We'll report it and, and do our best. I'm sure that we'll find out. When we find out, you can fire her if she truly ran away. Did your sis ever find her girl? <laughs> she did though. She found her. And the funny thing is they were held up in one motel with the gate man. He stole his, his, his boss's money. Well, my sister was not even interested in that. She just wanted to make sure that she was fine, and that was it. Oh, sorry. 
But if she did run away, it's not your fault. Let me just call George and tell him I'll be late to work so he can go. I'm so tired. This is my tata, I me, mean, I swear. Eh, relax. You're fine. Are you picking? Uh-uh. Good morning, officers. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, madam. Good morning. How can we help you? I'm here to file for a missing person. This person? Naya Pekin? Naya Mama? Na who? Sir, it's nothing like that. She's my house help. I woke yes. up yesterday morning and I could not find her. She, I don't know where she went. Yeah, madam. It's like you don't know that we have serious things while we're doing this place. So what I'm saying to you is not serious work. Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, is that what she's telling me? Are you trying to shine your eye for me? Uh, 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 officer, please. In my own office. Madam, what my sister here is trying to say is that our housemaid might have run away. And, and, and we, our mother has been calling. We, we, just help us. Help us find her, please. If she don't run away, she's going to be still going by now now. No, but is it not you people that said that we cannot file for a missing person until 24 hours later? Is it not you people? What's going on here now? What's this? You are a big woman in your office, I am a big woman here. You are not going to be running your mouth like that. Madam, can we just fire? But your sister's Can we, to... please? Your mom, sister's mouth is too shy. Madam, I'm begging you. Here. So it's not your job you want to do? Is it? Is, is what is wrong with you now, please? You okay, okay. Please. 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 I will put you I behind the counter. I said we are strong. Right. I will put you behind the counter. Thank you. Yes, write everything that happened to Right, you. right. Your telephone number. Your write name this in here. Your ah, after you will go to your face, you can write. Police this, police this. When you come here, be shouting like mad woman. See, that's why you are not married. So it's because of the 20 Naira Roja you want to collect that you are saying all these things, eh? Take it and build the house. You hear? You still talking? Me, Caroline, I will put that behind counter. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Um, where is Ife? She's not here? Yes, she is. Oh, there she is. Good afternoon, George. Good afternoon, Ife. Ife, this, this whole thing is just becoming a problem. What's, what's, what's happening? I'm so sorry. Um, please, can you get back to room? All right. Yeah. George, I'm really sorry. I know I'm dropping the ball here. I understand. I know that this is a problematic situation for you. But hey, it is also affecting our work here. I mean, we are barely two days in from the launch. I only have one video from the four that we shot. I'll stay back tonight and work on the edits. I'm sorry. It's all right. How are you feeling though? Honestly, I'm losing my mind. I, I went to the police and they more or less told me that the girl likely ran away with her lover and that leaves them with nothing to do. Like I'm, I'm losing it. You know, her mom called me and I had to lie to her. Like, I know she's going to call again. What do I tell her? What? You know, I actually wish that I have somebody else that I can pass your work to. Right? So that it doesn't seem like I'm putting all the pressure on you. Okay, hey, uh... I'm sorry. I actually forgot that we, we set boundaries. George, we're not dating anymore. You can't be holding me like that here. Of course, of course. So, um, do you think we'll have the videos by tomorrow? I'll do my best. I'll work on it and get them to you. All right, great. Thank you. And you're comfortable working here? Yes, uh, it's my space. If I need to pace, I can if need be. All right.
you speak, say anything anymore, you will not live to see the next day. I don't hear you speak. Are you hearing me? So I just let myself in. Right. Babes, thank you so much for this morning. Thank you. Those guys were so annoying. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> when are you going to bed? As soon as I finish working on this stuff, man. Alright. Chica. Mm? Thank you so much for everything. I know that this entire while has disrupted your plans of the interview and everything else. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm, look. I'm almost done anyways. Sure? Yes, the rest of my days I'll just spend it, you know, just making reports and reviews and just resting. You know what? Go to bed. Hmm? Good night. Baby. Good night. Sure you go to bed on time. I will. to find her. Start and that after. That. So much better. I have this friend, and she's an old friend. She's a private investigator. And then she saw the post that I made of Dorothy, and then she reposted. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to find her. Yes, I'm going to find Yemi. If anybody can find Dorothy, Yemi can find Dorothy. I hope so. I, I really hope so. I know so. She will find Dorothy. Did you get some sleep at least? <sighs> I try. What are you doing later today? Um, just. I just have some interviews, that's all. Okay, that's fine. Would you follow me for that, my event, the office one, the lunch? Of course. How's it get ready for work? Thank you, baby girl. Yeah. Okay, she's 
Yeah, I've got to go. Bye. Alright. Uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye. Hey. Hey. Hi, babes. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Have you ordered your food? Uh, no. I was waiting for you. Right. So, I know why you asked to see me and the answer is no. Wait. How did you... If I'm not naive, we haven't spoken in, what, four years? And then I share your post about a missing person and you suddenly want to catch up and have a meal. Sure. Okay, Amy. I'm sorry, you, you got me. Look, I'm only here out of courtesy. I'm retired now. I don't do any of that security stuff anymore. I'm out. Yemi, I know I messed up four years ago, okay? And I'm sorry. I shouldn't have slept with Benga. Even when you said you had forgiven me, I knew things would never be the same. I just... Look, I'm over my partner cheating on me with you. I forgive you guys when it happened and I've moved past it. But that's not what this is about. I'm really retired. I did when Bimiga died some years ago. So I'm sorry, I can't help you. Please. Yemi, let's... Hey babe, how was your day? You look tired. Do you want something to eat? So how was your meeting with your PI friend? It was horrible. Why? Well, she says she's retired. But I really just think she doesn't want to help me. Why wouldn't she want to help you? Well, four years ago, I, I was, had a little too much to drink and I ended up in her boyfriend's bed. <laughs> wow. What? I didn't know they were dating. They just started dating. After that, everything was a mess. She claims to have forgiven me, but I don't think she really did. You slept with her boyfriend and you still had the mind to go and ask her for help. Okay, so first off, I'm not who I used to be, okay? And then secondly, it's Dorothy. I love that kid. I've been so stressed and confused by her disappearance. I don't... <sighs> like, I'll do anything for that girl. It's even better they find her and then and I find out that she ran away. At least my mind will be at rest. I get you. Hmm? I get you, sorry. Chica, hmm? it's been three days. Three whole days. She literally just disappeared into thin air. And her mom has been blowing up my phone. I'm sure if she had my address, she would have showed up here. Honestly, I don't know her that well, but I'm also confused about all of this. Look, something will come up soon, okay? She will show up. Amen. It's okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, I'm going to track Yemi down. And I'm not taking no for an answer, even if I have to put a gun to her head. Okay, that's not funny. It is not. And don't you have that big lunch tomorrow at your office? We do. I contacted a photographer friend of mine to help me cover. Babe, I don't know why. I don't know. I just have this feeling that that girl is in some kind of danger. And I'm not doing anything to try and get her out. I'm not doing my best. I get you. How about I go back to the police station tomorrow for you? Which police station? Those ones. I went there immediately after Yemi refused to help me. Uh -huh. And all they keep telling me is they are investigating, they are investigating. I can swear on my life and all the money in my account that they are, they are not doing anything. Okay, so if they were investigating, why are they not here? Why have they not gotten here by now? Is this not the first place they should start from? Everything will be fine. Okay? I'm just um, uh, Every, I've told you to relax. We will find her. Okay? Just, Everything will be fine. Hmm? Everything will be fine.
Hello? Yemi? If I didn't send the number, you probably blow my phone with messages. So what is it? Yemi, Yemi, please, I'm on my knees, I'm begging. This girl, this girl is like my baby sister. She's never done anything to disobey me. Please, I'm begging. Help me find her. When did she go missing again? Today makes it the fourth day. Today's the fourth day. Yeah, she's probably dead by now. If she was taken by ritualists, which seems likely, given how you described her disappearance, she's likely already dead. Yemi. Please, please, just help me do your best. Anything at all. I'm on my knees. I'm begging. Try your best for me, please. Her mom has been blowing up my phone non-stop. She's worried. I'm also worried. I can't walk. I can't eat. I can't concentrate. Please. You're going to be wasting both my time and yours, but fine. Come pick me up where we met yesterday. Be there in an hour. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yemi. Thank you. Thank you. Into. Yemi just called me. She said she has agreed and changed her mind that she's going to help me find Dorothy, okay? Uh, what, what made her change her mind? I don't know. I don't care. I'm just glad that she has agreed, okay? I'll call you later and let you know. Uh, go. That's her mom calling me. I can't pick up this. Are the tests um, result from the lab back? I can't afford anybody having HIV or some stupid health condition. I don't want to lose any more money. Yes, ma'am. The results are out. And the doctor left them for you in the server. Auntie Chica, Auntie Chica, please, my mommy and Auntie Phil will be looking Can someone just shut that girl up? If I, if I hit you with this gun, then. Okay. Right. Hello ladies, it is nice to finally meet you all and I'm excited to inform you that your miserable lives is about to drastically change for good. You see in 48 hours we'll be leaving from Kutonu all the way to Europe where you would service some wealthy client in exchange for some good money. I hope you're excited. Auntie Chika, Auntie, please, I can't be a prostitute. Please, just let me go. Please. What? Come. Dorothy. I chose you because of how highly Ife spoke about you. And because you were hospitable and you're sweet. You are my most prized recruit on this trip, so do not ruin it. Nobody's coming for you. Nobody. If I thinks that you run away, she's not coming for you. Okay? Hello, Ife, you know I don't have all the Abby. Eh, eh, Bessie, why get this phone? She done inside accidental. What? What did you say? I said, if Bessie, why get this phone done inside accident? Your number nine be the last one where she called you. I said, we can call you, tell you, say, with the car and go to uh, go Prime Hospital. I'm coming. I'm coming there now. Uh -huh. Hello? Yes? What? Um, I'm on my way. Yes, I'm on my way. Okay. Ife is in a terrible, terrible accident and she's in the hospital. So I have to go meet her. Look, no one is coming for you. Get with the program, huh? Hey. Hi, 
Hi, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. I'm um, here to see an accident victim that was rushed here a few minutes ago. Okay. Ife Akiola. Okay, let me check. Okay, go down the hallway. Take your first right. Mm -hmm. She's in the first room on the left. First right, room on the left. Exactly. Alright, thank you. All right. My name is Yemi. Um, she was supposed to pick me up when I got a call about the accident. I see. Yeah. Well, it's good that you're here now. Okay. Um, what's the damage? I'm afraid the situation is rather precarious. The impact of the accident has caused a severe trauma to her brain. Oh my God. So, what are the chances of recovery? Are you religious, Yemi? Why would you ask me that? Because the only thing I can tell you right now is to pray and hope. Oh, wow. Excuse me. Ah, oh, Fair. What have you caught him into? Hello, who are you? Um, Chica, her best friend. What happened? I'm sorry, who are you? Yemi, an old friend. Yemi? Yes, she told me about you. Oh, she did? Yes, you are the PA that was helping her look for her um, housemate. Yeah. She was, she was supposed to be meeting you. What happened? She just didn't show up. I don't know. Do the house help? Right. What do you know about that? Nothing, just that... The night before we went to bed and the next morning she was nowhere to be found. I keep telling her, I told Ife, I told her that this girl might have run away with someone who promised her a better life. I did. Yeah. <sighs> These things happen. I honestly just hope that this, this accident would, would reset her mindset because it, it's just madness. Why? I'm sorry, what did the doctor say? Yeah, she says we should pray. Why? The odds are not in her favor. What? Yeah. No, no, no. No, it can't be. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe we should go to the house and get her some things. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Uncle, please, I want to use the toilet. You can go in. I said go in. <laughs> ah!
She have her own room. Yes, yes. I'd like to have a look, please. Okay. This this door. Right. I'll just go pack the bag. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mama, it's so nice to It's so nice to have. They will not come for us. They will not come for us. Remember, we we serve a God. That neither slumbers, nor sleep, nothing will happen to us. Mommy, I'm so scared. I know, I know. Remember Paul and Silas in the Bible? They sang, the children of Israel got victory. Over the wall of Jericho it collapsed. When they sank, nothing will happen. So we will sing, my daughter. If we sing, they will go away. Yes. You see, when we sing, God sends his angels and they will protect us. So we will sing. We will sing, my daughter. God will make a way. He walks in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my God. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. He will make a way. Smalty remembers you, Chris. Leave him. Do you have everything? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think this will do. Toiletries. Chica, yeah, you have everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is everything okay? You look a little ruffled. Um. Yes. Uh, everything is fine. Uh, my client is doing some tantrum because of some recruitment process, but you know what? My job is done here. I'll just uh, heading back to London very soon. Oh, you're leaving town? Yeah, yeah. My, my work here is done, so I'll be leaving soon. Your work sounds like it's a lot of fun. 
Well, a lot of people think that it's more fun than work because I travel a lot, but it's actually very stressful. Mm. Can we go now? Sure. Yeah. We can continue talking in the car. Right. Hmm. Looks good. Any headaches? Uh, it feels like they're beating drums in my head. Sounds about right. I'll bring some painkillers. I'm glad you're finally awake. You were lucky to be alive. Do you remember what happened? I... I was, I was rushing to go see a friend and then this car came out of nowhere and ran straight into me. The driver wasn't looking. Oh, so sorry about that. Doctor, please, when can I leave? Not anytime soon. You need to stay here and recuperate. Get your strength back. A couple of people were here to see you earlier. Hi, Doctor. Ah, Hi. Yes, they are. Oh, she's awake? Yes. Hi. 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 Are you alright? You had me worried. I'm so sorry. When I tell you to stay home and rest, you won't listen. You see yourself. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to you. Some idiots came out of nowhere and ran me over. Clearly. I was so shocked when I got the call. You should get some rest, Mr. King. I'll bring the painkillers shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would have loved to stay back and, you know, stay with you, but I have to go back to London in a few days. It's okay. You've done so much for me already. Um, Yemi, what are we going to do about Dorothy? We don't have time. I told you already, babe, there's really nothing we can do. Four days is a long time to find a missing person. I told her. Look, I've been telling her this. But she won't listen. Ife, take this as a sign from God to you. This girl ran away. But if it were God, he would not rest until that one last person is found. Ah, <sighs> fair. I guess I'm not God. And I'm going to have to let this go. Exactly. Look, you're doing the right thing. You don't have to waste time, resources, and energy looking for someone that built. Let it go. Okay? okay. Um, look, I, I have to run now. I have um, an emergency at work. My client. Mm. It's just been an... Nice. I have to go. I'll be back as soon as I can. Eh? Alright. Thank you so much. Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh -huh. It was nice meeting you. Same here. Again. Same here. Um, yeah. I'll sort the bill. I'll just go search yourself. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll just do that on my way out. Okay. Alright. Tell me about your friend. Helps them recruit top talent from all over the world, which is why she travels a lot. Mm. So she lives with you? Not really. We reconnected a few years back when she came visiting for work in Nigeria. And ever since then, she's been coming and going. She seemed to be so convinced that Dorothy ran away. Mm. And I know that she wants me to stop looking, but I don't know what else to do. So where exactly does she stay? Europe, uh, Spain, Italy, London. But she shuffles between Spain and Italy. I have to go now. I think I might know where Dorothy is. I'll be in touch. Right? Yeah, yeah me. Yes? Uh-huh. 
Yes? What? How did this happen? How can you be so incompetent? You know what? I'm on my way. Yes. Okay, where are you now? You're outside. Okay, I'm coming. was responsible for that. How the hell did this happen? How? I'm sorry, ma'am. Actually, what happened was that she said she wanted to make use of the toilet and I escorted her. If I could even close the toilet door, I heard a loud sound. When I rushed in, I found that she was trying to escape through the window. You are a fool. Why didn't you leave the door open? Huh? What does she have that you've never seen before? You are very lucky that she did not escape or die, or else you would have found a replacement for me. We are shot two girls and now this. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. Why did you do that? Dorothy, you are a very ungrateful child. I give you a chance at a better life. You will make so much money, so much more than if it's going to ever pay you, and you do that. Don't be a victim, Dorothy. Take charge of your destiny. Get the girls ready. We move out tonight. No mess up. Okay? No problem. I'll be back with extra security. I'm sending you an address now. Okay.
No excuses, none at all. Make sure they get to Bene this night. Someone will come and collect them tomorrow morning and they're off to Italy. Okay, go. Your hands behind your head. Drop all your weapons. Get up. Your hands behind your head. You know, the house was awfully quiet when you were away. Like, I missed your voice, your early morning worships. Thank you. And you want to know something really crazy? You know, when I was in the hospital, I could hear your voice. It sounded so real. I woke up thinking you were in the room with me. I wasn't there. Of course, I know you were not there. <laughs> uh, continue, I'll get the door. Hey, how are you? I'm very well. Uh, Auntie! <laughs> Thank you for saving me. You left the hospital very fast that day. Yeah, I had to go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I have something for you. You do? Yes. Okay. Uh, you're up and about. That's good. Yeah, you know, after Dorothy was released, I was moved to another hospital and then they took my phones and everything. So I'm sorry I couldn't call mm, to okay. say thank you. It's okay, at least she's safe now. Oh yes, I'm glad she is. I'm glad. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, how did you know? Uh, I've tracked down a few human traffickers in the past before. The moment she started talking about clients and recruitment, I just knew that something was off. You know, I saw a message on her phone saying there was a situation and then you told me she lives in Europe and she tools um, Italy and Spain. I just knew that. Yeah. I wouldn't have guessed. Of course. If you haven't worked with them before, you won't be able to tell. I didn't even see the signs. I mean, Chica really broke my heart. But that's for me to unpack another day. I'm just really glad she's home. I'm glad. I actually have to leave now. Um, I... Oh, my superwoman. Thank you. What's this? It's a hair bonnet. A hair bonnet. Thank you so much. I like it. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually traveling tonight to Kenya, so I just wanted to check in and see you guys before I leave. Oh, you're leaving? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. What's happening in Kenya? I have work. Yeah, I had forgotten how important my work is. Finding Dorothy helped me remember. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's really Thank good. Thank you, Ife. Oh. This was more healing for me than it was for you. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad. Let me see you off. Yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, <laughs>